Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing the Music Manager system, which consists of a Music Manager script and a Music Playlist. In short, the way the Music Manager works is that it's a generic sort of music player that will play a playlist upon loading a scene. I'll demonstrate this functionality later. For now, you want the Music Manager to be placed within your splash scene. Your splash scene is assumed to be scene 0. Your other scenes, such as menu, your game levels, possibly multiplayer, etc., are assumed to be different scenes than the splash scene because it is assumed that the game will never return to the splash scene directly. This is because the splash scene is, pre is not preloaded compared to the other scenes. You can read about this in the Unity documentation as to why it is this way. The Music Manager is persistent, meaning it'll still exist across scene to scene. The Music Manager itself is a prefab, so if you decide to create your own custom splash scene, you can simply drag and drop it in. But I highly recommend using the splash scene that comes with the framework because of its splash fade in functionality. So for now, we'll go ahead and create a playlist. Let's assume we want some background music to play as soon as the menu is loaded. We'll create an empty game object. We'll call it main menu background music. And then we'll attach the music playlist script. You want to leave activate on awake to true. This way the music player will begin playing the main menu background music playlist as soon as this menu scene is loaded. For now, I'll go ahead and set two, two tracks. These are taken from Glitch the Game, which is a game that has shut down and has released all of its assets in the public domain. So now that we have this saved, we will go back to the splash scene and we'll run the music manager. So as you'll notice, the main menu music begins playing as soon as the main menu is loaded. This menu persists, so as long as there is no new music playlist in the scene, continue playing the current playlist. To demonstrate this, play was a different scene entirely, and you'll notice that the music playlist is not in this scene, however the music manager will continue playing the previous playlist, or at least the previous track. If we want this playlist to change, we simply create a new one. So if we have different game music or game music that is separate from the main menu music, we'll attach a music playlist here. Leave activated on awake so this way this new playlist is started as soon as this level is loaded and then set a track. We'll save the scene, turn to our splash now, now you have the main menu music, one thing you'll notice is that it will fade out the current track and then fade in the new track if the fade duration is greater than zero. You see that in the volume here as the main menu music is faded out, gameplay music is faded in. The music manager itself has several functions, several parameters I should say. You can set the volume, which will play background music here. You can set a playlist, but I recommend leaving it empty. It's shown in the inspector for debugging purposes. This is because we want to use the music playlist system, which as shown before, 
is simply a game object with a music playlist script. You can set the shuffle playlist instead of always playing the first track in the playlist. You can have it repeat the current track or to repeat the playlist. You can also have it repeat nothing. You set a fade duration. Normally you want to time this alongside the fade duration of your scene transitions. But you can set it to whatever you like. You can also have it play on awake. But this really doesn't matter because you shouldn't really be playing music in your splash scene anyway. But if you want this functionality, it's available. The music manager also includes an audio source, which I highly recommend that you leave empty. This is because the audio clip and the output will be controlled by the music manager script itself, and you shouldn't have to set anything in here. Currently, as of this video, there is no error handling if you decide to have multiple music playlists within a scene. It is assumed there will only be one music playlist within a scene. And I have not tested what will happen if you have multiple. Later on, I may add error handling so that this sort of situation is handled elegantly, such as throwing an error saying there are multiple playlists in the scene. Or perhaps if you want that functionality, of being able to play multiple songs simultaneously, which seems like bad practice, but for some games it could be the case, that that functionality may be possible. However, because it is a unique case, I will likely just add in a generic error throw, and if you want this functionality, you can extend the Music Manager to be able to play multiple playlists simultaneously. For now, it is only assumed that there's one playlist per scene. You may have noticed there's a problem and that when we switch scenes, this playlist field becomes empty. So if we go to level 01, delete this, save, return to the splash, and play, as soon as the main menu is loaded, the main menu playlist gets set. But if we switch to another scene, this becomes empty again, even though the current track continues playing. I will actually fix this right after this video so that this doesn't happen. But overall, I hope you'll notice that the Music Manager is a very powerful, very flexible, out of the box solution. It's not designed to encompass all your music needs, but the ones most games will require. You can easily extend it, as the code is pretty self explanatory. Fade out functions, fade in. There are functions for playing a specific song, going to the next song, playing a playlist, as well as a number of other settings or parameters, I should say. They're available in the inspector. You can also add your own. The music playlist script simply contains two, and a call to the music manager to change the current playlist upon awake. So that's the music magic system. Thank you for watching.